Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel uh, for another Flames War Battle Report with my good friend Charlie over in uh, Georgia in the USA. Uh, today using the last of uh, the armoured squadrons in the Belgian British book, I'm not using the, the RAM tank, um, against a list that I've put together. So if it doesn't work, it's my fault. Um, so as you can see, it's a German sh uh, Guards Sherman Armoured Squadron against a Brigade Panther Company and a Brigade Armed Assault Company, which we've not seen yet before. So we'll have a little look at the lists. Uh, we did both pick attack and we rolled and we got free for all, as you've seen from the starter for the intro section. Uh, so we both have to roll to see who will be the eventual attacker when it comes to deployment and you know, whoever goes first will also have a die roll. So we'll have a look at the list, um, some key or new units and we will get into the game. This is today's uh, Belge British list. It is the Guards Sherman uh, Squadron. So, <clears throat> a lot of Shermans, uh, so many in fact, I couldn't afford any more infantry, but we'll have a little look at the formation. So, the formation is a HQ of two Sherman 75s. We then have four uh, units of four Shermans, two of which are the new late Sherman Firefly. And then we also have four Stuarts, and that is the formation. The HQ is also equipped with uh, Tulip Rockets. In support, we have a, a Daimler Armoured Car uh, Troop, uh, a Sherman OP, and we have some Sextons. So we'll have a little look at um, what I think could be a key unit for Datus. It's, kind of, it's actually a new unit as well. Um, but um, my lack of infantry will probably hamper me quite a bit today. I'm um, not sure what to drop because it's, it's tricky what to put in uh, reserve for this lot. Um, but we will see. Okay, so I've picked this as a new unit for the British today. It might be a key unit as well. And it's also something else I'd like to point out as well. So we have the new, well, Firefly Late. Um, what makes it better to the other ones is this 8015 now and you can have two of them in your unit in your troop which is the same with a Cromwell uh, armored squadron as well but I'd like to point out as well we also have the tulips on this card now only the HQ has it it's awesome because they fire little rockets it also has saturation bombardment which each gun fire encounters two so I only have two tanks for my HQ but I'll count as four when I fire it and it's only a one use thing but could be very useful against infantry since I don't have my own infantry. I did do a list where pretty much every single Sherman unit had uh, tulips attached. Um, may go back to that at some point, um, but there we have the Firefly Late and the Tulip. This is the Bulge German list for today. It's actually a list I've put together um, and I sh shared it with Charlie and he's uh, more than happy to use it. More designed to attack, um, but it is a very aggressive trained list so let's have a look at it so two formations first formation uh, the one with the most points is a brigade panther list so hq of one brigade panther two units to three brigade panthers and some uh, wibble winds just to anchor the formation a little bit not well probably might not stick around too long it depends how well um charlie can use them um, the second formation is a Brigade Armoured Assault Company, and we haven't actually seen this on the channel yet. Um, I do quite like the amount of half-tracks you can have, and the amount of stuff you can have for the points. So we have a HQ, of um, it's basically a Brigade Armoured Assault Company, so these have SDG-44s. We then have uh, one platoon uh, with half-tracks. We then have four uh, armoured 7.5cm guns. Three of the new 15 centimeter uh, flak half tracks, three flamethrower half tracks, four 12 centimeter mortars, and three Panzer IV 70s. So both formations pack in a little bit of AA there as well. Um, we then have the support down. This is where all the careful veteran stuff is. So we have three VESPs, Panzer III OP, a 250 scout troop, so two um, cannons and MG, and then we have an Ardennes armoured Panzer Grenadier platoon. So, a good mix of um, we have the careful veteran stuff here in a small group, but that might all be needed. But we have anti tank guns, tanks, artillery, anti infantry assets, and AA all in one group. So, I, I think they're going to do quite well against the Shermans, but we shall see. 
Okay, so this is a new unit for the Germans, the triple 15, cent, 15 millimeter flak platoon. So the Germans do have another uh, flak half track uh, with their brigade infantry that they can use, but this one I like because it's got five shots and it's also dedicated AA. So I find these quite useful. They can be used as anti tank or anti scout car units. Um, but obviously if there's aircraft flying around it will protect your aggressive tanks or your aggressive infantry so both formations do have an AA asset with them so wherever you're probing with your attacks if the aircraft do turn up these guys will be there so i'm very much thinking back to that guards churchill against the um brigade panthers now if they were AA there to stop by typhoons that would have been quite useful because it did turn the tide of the game but they're there can also park them with the infantry because being 85 could stop a few uh, tank assaults with some uh, uh, side armor, light, lighter armor sided uh, tanks. Uh, but there, that's a new unit. I quite like the look of them. I did get a few of them painted up and they just gathered dust for ages. So I'm glad to see them on the table. Here we have the table set up for today. So I used the um, random terrain generator. So some side is a little bit more advantageous to the other but I chock full of as much tortoring as possible to uh, limit any high ground so we have some standing crops a little forest these guys these uh, bits of trees are tall terrain but obviously there's only a thin strip of them this is a stream so it's just a terrain dash and the fords we could just go straight over it hence why there's no bridge today have a little isolated farm with some fences. We have some um, ploughed fields, so that's going to be difficult terrain. We have a rise, uh, some just some ob obscuring. It's funny enough, this is the same spot it was last time. It just seems to not to be able to move. And then we have another rise over there. And that's it. So we're going to do some deployment. Okay, so deployment is done. I'll sum up my deployment first because it is tit for tat with uh, free for all, and I did manage to uh, roll higher, so I got the attacker. So I picked the area with the high ground, but pff, there's a lot of stuff to shoot at coming my way. So um, I started off with a spearhead unit with the Stuart, so I could place my Shermans on the ridge. Maybe I should have come behind. We'll we'll find out in the first after the first turn is over. Well, that was a bad idea. Put my OP here, um, we'll get some cover from the ridge here, it's just thought might need to look up there at some point, but everything was over there. I have one unit of Shermans by here with the Sextons, and you can see the two objectives uh, Charlie placed here, and then everything else is here. Sorry, sorry. let's not forget the Daimlers, they pushed up here, um, getting a bit of uh, trouble. Uh, so we have one unit of Shermans here. And then we have the other Sherman unit and the HQ by here, just basically blocking line of sight as much as I can. So we'll go over and see how Charlie deployed. So Charlie uh, counted my spearhead with one of his own, and then pretty much an, almost an entire formation went into it. So we have the 250 um, half tracks here with the Panthers and the Panther HQ. We then have a uh, four brigade 7.5cm. Uh, armoured half-tracks. We then have the Ardennes platoon and the Wibblewinds. Um, behind this forest here then we have the Vesps, more Panthers and the Flame Zero half-tracks which I have got a lot to cook today but maybe another game they might be able to shine. Centre of the table pretty much bang on we have the Panzer 3 OP, we then have the Panzer 470s, 12cm mortars, the triple uh, half-tracks, the Brigade platoon with their half tracks in the rear, the HQ as well with the half tracks in the rear covering this objective. And that's it, so we have to roll to see who goes first. There's a lot coming my way that way, um, and obviously infantry as well to deal with, And but if you're unfamiliar with a meet and engagement game, whoever goes first, everything is treated as moving, and you can't fire a um, barrage or bring an aircraft. So it just stops you wiping out your opponent first turn, uh, but then the player who goes second will be able to have everything. So let's see what happens in turn one. Okay, so it's the day of the game. Charlie is ready, and we are going to roll to see who goes first. So I will roll, and I get a five. I get a six. Oh, we go. So Charlie will be getting first turn, so we will come back after German movement. 
Okay, German movement, pretty much this left side of the table is staying put. Uh, this side, the Panthers did a cross here, so just auto basically went to the woods, making a cross check a one. Um, the Panther platoon here did the same, just setting up for next turn. Um, HQ staying where it is. Um, these half tracks uh, with the infantry inside moving around, Stimmel's moving up, Wibblewind's moving up, and the scout car's doing a uh, cross country dash. So we'll be coming into shooting now, and pretty much the only thing that can shoot is the Panzer 470. So we'll see what they're going to do, what they're going to fire at, and um, if they get anything. Okay, so. Panzer 470s are going to be firing at my Shermans on the ridge line. They would, they would normally get six shots, but because they've got first turn, they only have three. So fours normally, uh, fives concealment, six go on the ground, sevens for range. Well, we missed. Okay. <laughs> two ones and two. No. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know. You've already rolled a six this game. Um, and that is it unless you want any like movement orders, but they're already long range, the Panzer 470s, um, don't know if you want to... Uh, well, uh, I'll just, uh, no, no, I could do, I should, let me try to do a move with the, um, can I do a move with the Panzer 470s? Yeah, yeah, you haven't moved them. What is okay, this so skill? Uh, 4 plus. Four plus. No, they didn't. Okay. Three. Awesome. Okay, so that is it. So now, luckily for me, yeah. no motivations. So we go into British turn one. British movement. I've sent the cavalry round the flank in the form of the Stuarts. Uh, probably won't shoot them. I'll keep them gone to ground. These guys are already in a good position, and with, with Charlie rolling ones and twos, they're pretty safe there. Um, I then rolled my one. Um, I was trying to get my Sherman across their um, fence, but it didn't work. So the two Fireflies are moved up instead. But the other 75 did get over. Um, Saxons, of course, not moving. Daimlers have moved. Uh, I'm going to try and keep their gun to ground also. Um, and then basically things swiveling around to get, try and get some scout cars over here uh, to get some stumbles here. And I basically used the tall terrain just to shield me from the Panthers for now. Uh, and that is it, so we will go into shooting, um, we'll probably start on the right hand side and see how it goes. Right then Charlie, I'm ready to open up my uh, account with shooting, so my platoon on the ridge, um, the fireflies are going to fire at the Panzer 470s and the 75s are going to go for the triple AA guns. So the question is, is which order do I do it in? So um, the 75s will go first, so Onto the triple A's, it's threes normally, um, fours for range, uh, but obviously um, tall terrain will cancel out your gone to ground and concealment. So fours required, uh, I get two. So that goes straight through. Can't save that, so a uh, guy on the left is dead, guy in the middle is bailed. Okay, and now for the fireflies, again, it's going to be the same, it's going to be fours. Um, there's no gone to ground on them anyway, but it, the uh, tall terrain will cancel out the concealment. So, hitting on fours, uh, just one hit, uh, so it's 80-15 against your front armour, which will go up to ten, so you'll need a five to equal. Okay. No, not a four. Firepower coming up, I get a one, so it's just a bail. Yeah, okay. So next firing is going to be the fireflies that moved. Um, they're going to be targeting your Panzer 470s. I'll just double check the range. Oh yeah, they're in range. But it is going to be fives because there is concealment here. So needing fives, I get one more. So I'm going to put it on an active one, but you can obviously swap it to a bailed. Alright. I'll try and do that. I don't, so that's fine. Uh, sorry, but that's fine. Uh, kill on that one. So with, yeah. with that motivation, that might be it for them. Yeah. 
Right, so now the Saxtons are going to try and put a juicy template on this uh, infantry by here. But I'll try and mark out a good area and I'll show you, Charlie, where it's going. But uh, I need to range in first, so let's see what I can get. Okay, recap on the Saxtons. I ranged in second attempt, hit all three infantry teams from the platoon and the template, but I didn't kill any. I hit the 12 centimeter mortar, no kill, uh, missed the HQ and missed out the bailed uh, half track. So I'll we'll be moving to the Sherman platoon behind the rock. Okay, so these Shermans here can all see uh, at least uh, the end guy with the clear shot. It is long range though, so he'll be hitting on fives. Uh, rolling the firefly as well because it doesn't matter about the AT. Um, oh, I only get the one hit. So that is on a two centimeter, um, w w whatever the cannon is. So do you want to swap it onto the MG? Yeah, why not? No, I didn't. So it oh. is bailed. Okay. Next up, my HQ unit is going to be shooting at the Stummels. Um, so it's going to be two shots long range, uh, hitting on fours. Uh, I get one hit, so again that is something that's going to be going straight through. So to kill, I get a kill, and then from the platoon then I have one unit that can see clearly and then one with a concealed shot. So the one to hit on four uh, hits and the one to hit on five misses. So another firepower for me, um, no, a bail. And that is my shooting this turn. So before I mark out the things, I'm going to do a shoot and scoot on the Shermans on the ridge. Which I pass. Okay, so we'll come and see what happens in German turn two. Okay, so German motivations. There are a few. Where would you like to start, Charlie? Do you want to start left to right? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. All right, you've got a remount on the triple 15 centimetres, so they are reluctant on a five, but you got your HQ for a reroll. Okay. Yeah, they got back in, they rolled two fives. Oh, nice. They yeah. def definitely want to get back into the action. Uh, you then have a bailed out Panzer 470. Again, they are reluctant. No, he didn't get in. Okay, so he stays there, and then over here you have a bailed out 250 scout, which is a 4 plus remount for them. No, didn't he? <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm in the ones I'm rolling. And then the last Sorry. of the bailed out stuff is your uh, brigade guy with a, another get another reluctant 5 plus. No, is he with his six of the um, um, HQ Panther? He, he won't, it's, it's weird, right? He won't accept orders from him because he's a different formation. Okay, gotcha, mate, okay. No, he didn't get back in. Okay, and now we're on to the pinned infantry. So we have your platoon, uh, which is reluctant, but they get a reroll as well. No, they didn't. And then the crew, well, it's not really that important this game, but two dice for the 12 centimetre mortars uh, needed right. dice. Oh, yeah, they loved it. The five and the six. Right. So they are pinned. Okay, so yeah. now we have one last stand, uh, which is going to be the Panzer 470, but they last stand on a four. Uh, one to six. Oh, yep, so they're sticking around. And that is it for motivation, so now we can go into movement. Okay, German movement, it's all happening on this flank. Uh, so the scouts have done a cross-country dash over to here. Um, obviously threatening the objective already. Panthers, um, both units failed a blitz, but managed to get out of the woods anyway. Uh, HQ is linking them up for morale. Uh, Stummel's infantry flamethrowers are all moving up with them. So we start the shooting phase with some smoke. So we'll find out where it's going to go and if it actually succeeds. But they are veterans, so it should go down nice and easy. Okay, everyone, it happened. So uh, Charlie tried to range in the smoke here using his OP to cut across uh, here. Two twos and a one, was that right, Charlie? That's right. That's the usual. It happens. Uh, but then the 12 centimetre mortars ranged in second attempt. Got a hit on the Saxton, but I rolled a six, which is 
more than enough. I tend to roll sixes a lot for um, tanks and artillery. Um, so we're going to go through some more direct firing now and uh, see what else happens here. I know okay. it's long range, concealed, but... Yep, so the hey. remaining Panzer for well, they say the remaining, the only active Panzer 470 is going to return fire on the Fireflies down in the farm. So it is long range concealed, so it's going to be sixes. No, missed. Okay, right, next target. Yep, so uh, Panzer no, here, missed. firing Sherman 75, uh, needing the six because of the failed blitz, but nothing. And then we've got the Panthers in amongst here, you can see Sexton's, long range concealed, you failed your blitz. Actually, I will just line up to see if you can see any Sherman. No, they might have. Uh, they I'll... Might have blitz, what? What's that? Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'll check, see if there's uh, better targets for you, Charlie, because they might be Sherman's uh, you can go for as well. Five, then, yes. Yep, so two Panzer shots. Um, you did move more than four to get there, so it is you moving rate fire, so needing fives to hit the Sherman 75s. I missed. Okay. As per usual, two okay. or four. <laughs> and Can't hit anything. That is pretty much it. Your triple um, guns could fire at the Stuarts, although I do have front armour on you. They could go for the Daimlers, but they are long range gone to ground. It's up to you. They do have like five they shots each. Not, they got, they got five shots a piece. So let's, let, you never know. Let's do that. Yeah. So fours normally, fives concealment, sixes so sevens. Oh well, yeah, let's have a go. So that's how many have I got? Ten. Ten, ten shots. Eight. Ten. Oh, I've got two sixes. Three sixes. Two potentials. Yeah. Hey. And another two sixes. Oh, right. Well, I'm going to try and swap one of them onto a dingo straight up. Um, uh, which I do not. So it's on two Daimlers. My Daimlers are front armor one. So I need. Uh, so I'll go to two. So I need threes to equal. Uh, one penetrating hit, so five plus to kill. No. Oof, that, well, that was close. Right, <coughs> okay, so British turn. Uh, only motivation I have is the Daimler who's bailed out. Now, I would like him to get back in. Um, so a four plus for him. Uh, oh, get a four. Exactly what I needed. And I can continue to rumble on. Um, what I'm going to do, start my movement, I am going to try a blitz move with these guys, please. They do on a six, so they're going back up onto their ridge. And I'll continue on with my movement. Okay, so as you've seen, Sherman's did their blitz, these guys move there. These fireflies stay in put, uh, they're Sherman backing up so we can't be seen by the panthers coming over there and the unit leader's moved, uh, he can just about get a shot on the OP by here. These guys move behind the rock here, uh, they'll pop out when needed and hopefully just not die. Um, my platoon here has moved up onto the ridge, um, the 2IC has moved um, so you can see the remaining stummel, um, so I can maybe pick them off, um, but mainly so the panther can't see him yet. And that is it. So we will go into shooting. Uh, I will just repeat my bombardment. We'll see what happens and then we'll get into um, some dice throwing. Okay, so the Saxons had a pretty poor return fire. They only hit one grenadier and the 12 centimeter mortars. Both chances to kill, but I didn't roll higher than a three. So that's the limitation on the 25 pounder, unfortunately. So next up. The Shermans are going to fire again, splitting their fire. Firefly is going for the Panzer 470s, and the 75 is going for the triple um, 15 centimeters. So, the triple 15 centimeters I need fours for because they are uh, long range. Uh, I only get one hit, um, but that will go straight through. Just double check, yep, and I get a kill. So that's a kill on a 5 plus, and then the more important bit 
the four shots onto the Panzer 470s again needing fours. Uh, oh, can you see those dice, Charlie? Yeah. Uh, that's two, two apiece. So roll two dice for the one who's already bailed out, so um, your front arm is ten, so you need fives to equal. No, my two And the active one? And the active one... He didn't make it either. Okay, so the bailed one... Bailed one is dead. Uh, active one is double dead. So Panzer 470s have finally gone, so... I'm going to see now what other targets are available to my boys. Uh, my Stuarts now are going to open up onto the infantry that are in range. Uh, but they are all going to be in range because I'm firing my main guns. Um, so I haven't moved them, so that is going to be eight shots. You're concealing on the ground, so threes, fours and fives I will need. Uh, I'm going to get one hit, so I'll just put it on the closest guy to me. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I need. I would have needed a four plus firepower anyway, so we know I can't do them. Um. Right. My platoon of Shermans. Um. The one who's moved by here probably isn't in range anyway. No, he's not. And. You are so lucky. I'm just out. But right, so the fireflies, right, I'm going to fire them. They're going to go for your remaining triple centimetre gun. And then my 75 is going to go for your scout cars. That's going to be long range and one shot. So the fireflies first. So it's long range and concealed. So uh, threes, fours and fives again. Uh, one hit. And of course, this is a 17 pounder going through a half track. And it, yeah, well, it kills him. That's a surprise. <laughs> well, uh, usually these tend to just go straight through and don't actually blow up, I find. It, um, like I've seen... Yeah, I, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, 88 shots going through jeeps, not doing anything. And then I have the long range shot onto your scout, so your scout's doing fire. So, um, fours, five, sixes, seven. So, first attempt. No, we got one. He's, he's not hitting. Um, my Daimlers are going to fire. So, there's no concealment, but I am overworked. So, it'll be fives to hit you. Uh, I get no hits. I get five total, so, but that's not enough. Um, next, then, my HQ going for your stummel. So, it's going to be three shots uh, hitting on fours. Uh, one hit, again going straight through, uh, which I get a kill, so those two are dead now. And next, um, the fireflies are going to go for the panther they can see on the edge of the woods, and the 75s are going to go for your scout cars. Um, so the 75, uh, 75s into the scout cars, so needing fours. Um, I get two hits. And two bales. Okay, and then into the woods. So it's short range because I moved them so it was that like that. So it will be fours because the tall terrain doesn't get cancelled out uh, by the hill and tall terrain. I get a hit on a five. So your front armor is ten, so you need a five to equal. A five. Not a five. Right, to bail. Nope, he is okay. And that is what I can do for shooting, so we will be going into a German turn. Again, we'll do motivations working away across here, so there's no bailed out tanks this side of the table anymore. Um, we do have two scout cars by the river who are remounting on 4+. plus. One did, one didn't, mate. Okay, and then you got the one on the far side of the woods as well. He did. 
Okay. You want a six. So I think they will require a last stand because um, there's only one active tank in command and they weren't in command at the start of the turn because of the guy over there. But I'll take the um, pinned out markers first, but we'll come back for their last stand anyway. Okay. Okay, now onto pinned infantry. Let's see if you can rally the brigade infantry again. So, uh, five's way down, you roll. No, I rolled a two and a three, it adds up to a five. <laughs> and then the 12 centimetre <laughs> mortars. <laughs> they rolled a six, mate. They rolled love it. Six, they right? absolutely love it. So, um, you have one last stand to make on the um, half tracks who are reluctant on a five. No, they're gone. Yeah. Two. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that is right because at the start of the turn, this guy was out of command and there's only one active tank in command there because the one is still bailed. So that does make sense. I'm pretty sure that does well, it makes sense to you, Charlie, yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. right, so uh, two will drive away and one will put a grenade uh, in the thing. I think it's happened to me in one of my first games. I got them very close to an objective and then they just decided to run. Okay, so German movement again, nothing's moving over here. Over here though, stuff are moving. Now, I haven't just left my tape measure because I'm uh, useless. This is where the potential smoke will go. The OP can see this end point by this, so that's where it's going to go. But we just did it for ease, because um, obviously Charlie Cutter isn't here to measure out properly. Um, so um, he can move his tanks so he knows where they can be covered. So these guys um, just floored it, because it doesn't really matter, because they're not going to be shooting. The stumbles are not going to fire, everything else is going to fire. But these guys did do cross checks to get through the woods. You can see Numpty back here. Um, I don't know why he's hit, he's hit a tree stump. Um, and that is it, so we now go into shooting, so just roll your three dice for your smoke, because that is the first thing you need to do. Uh, okay, so that is more than enough, so smoke will go down, and we'll see what else uh, is going to die. Okay, so uh, only other shooting then, uh, the mortars will obviously get to repeat their bombardment, but the HQ and the two here, I did see if they could see the uh, Sherman here to get right down, squidging down to the Panther that couldn't see it, unfortunately. So there's three shots onto the Daimlers, a short range with concealment, uh, so you're hitting them on fives. Right, I'm going to try and swap it onto a Dingo. This Dingo, you're literally here to be sacrificed every game, uh, not today, so... Funny enough, it's going straight through, Charlie. Oh, there we go. My poor scout units. Uh, we'll see, there's a Panzerfausts over there, and a lot of them. I can't just walk in. Um, so the they ranged in here, they got one hit on the Saxon, and I rolled a four again. And that is it for Charlie's turn. Uh, so we will go into British turn. Uh, no motivations. It's nice not having infantry sometimes, I suppose, because they would just get pinned and pinned and pinned. So, come back to you after movement and see uh, what I can do. Okay, so movement. What we did just notice, I noticed my fireflies can see through the gap in the tree line there. Um, so we, uh, we had Charlie do his two shots from the Panthers into the um, Shermans, but uh, he missed. But we keep in the dead Daimler, we'd say the HQ got him, but I just, I couldn't, I didn't want to fire and take some out because that wouldn't be fair. Um, these guys just move back a bit just so it takes a little bit longer for the Panthers to come round. HQ's moved around and these guys have moved around because they can see the arse end of this Panther at the back there. Whether they get anything, I don't know. Um, but we will see. So um, that is it. Um, just Again, just a rearrange of these guys. So we're going into shooting. So I'll repeat the bombardment. I'll let you know if anything happens this time and then we will get into the good shooting. Okay, so I actually managed to kill a, a Panzer Grenadier team, um, but that is, I only hit two Panzer Grenadier teams and that's all I got. So, continuing over here, the two Fireflies are going to fire at the Panthers I can see. Uh, so it's going to be threes normally, uh, fours for concealment, fives for range. So can I get anything? The, the two seventy fives are going for the Panzer Grenadiers because uh, they are short range. Uh, I get one hit on the Panthers, so your front armor eleven, so you need a four to equal. So 
so I have a chance to bail you. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, got you. Okay, so you have a bail and then going into the infantry, uh, so threes, fours, fives. Uh, I just get one hit on your infantry. An actual kill. So there we go, I've killed more Panzer Grenadiers this turn so far. Uh, and then my Stuarts are going to open up into them, uh, main guns again. So again, needing fives, that's better. So I got three hits this time, uh, Charlie. Oh, three hits. Oh, sorry, my three, uh, three and two fives. Okay. Oh, that's the SS guys. Uh, that's the SS guys, that's the SS guys. My two fireflies again are going, oh no, he's out of range on the, the uh, OP. Okay. Again, um, so it's going to be squeaky time over here. So basically, I'm going to put all four of my shots into the side of your panther uh, with everything because I want to get it. Uh, it is long range, there's no concealment. So uh, the 75s first, so hitting on fours. Um, I get one hit with a 75, and the Fireflies get one hit as well. So I'll do the Firefly Firepower, he's bailed, so do the save for the fire, uh, the normal one. The 75 got him. And then my HQ uh, is going to go for your Werble wins, uh, so they'll be hitting them on threes. I get two hits on them. Uh, they've actually got armor, haven't they? Yeah, I don't, no, not much, don't uh, Front armor three yeah. and the Werble win, so. Oh, that is true, that is true. So, two firepowers, uh, one dead, one bailed. Okay, so we go to German turn, start their turn, so again motivation, so nothing bailed out on the left side of the table. As we go further into the forest, we have a bailed out panther, uh, remounting, oh, on a five, but you do get a re-roll. Okay. Oh, we rolled two sixes. <laughs> well, he, he is absolutely loving it. Your wibble wind is getting back in on a five, and he is just outside of re-roll range, unfortunately. Okay. Six, mate. Got it. He's got back in. Oh, he's got back in, and then we're on to your pin down infantry. So your 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 grenadiers are they going to rally? Yes, they are. Oh, nice. Five and a six. And that was SS the only. Stuff. That was the only pin. <laughs> Stop rolling SS. These, there's no SS play into it. You can't use those. <laughs> but, I'm not you, I That's a well, me. <laughs> well if, if you roll in that, I'm bringing out my 11th uh, armor division dice, and they just they won't stop rolling okay. sixes. Um, only yeah. last thing you've got is a last stand on your Werble wins, uh, which lasts okay. stand in a four plus. Roll a five. Yeah, he's sticking around, and that is it. So we can go into movement. German movement. Panthers have moved uh, over here. Uh, two of them are contesting the objective now. They did fail a blitz, however. Um, they were Charlie was greedy, tried to get a little bit more uh, movement. Uh, Ardennes infantry are moving behind. Uh, these guys um, tried to do a blitz move because they were going to try and go through both woods to go for my Shermans here. The Stummels didn't do a blitz. They got to here, and the flamethrowers are going to have a go. And the whirlwind has moved closer to the HQ for that all important rerolls on their last stand. And that is it. HQ didn't attempt to move. So now we go into shooting. Um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is what happened so far with the artillery. Uh, the Vesps ranged in first time here, got hit on a firefly by rolled R6 again. 12 centimeter mortars hit all three sextons. Got a kill here. We did roll this one separately because he is all important to contesting this objective. 
and that is it so now we go into more direct line of shooting so we'll figure out what Charlie wants okay so down this corner two panthers are going to be firing at the firefly well they can see the Shermans anyway and then one will be going on to the Saxton contesting the objective so roll ahead so the two onto the firefly so there is concealment because there is another bloody fence there so it'll be hitting on fives. Oh, it'll be hitting on sixes because you failed your blitz. No, I missed. No, and then the one onto the Saxton will be hitting on a five. No. Okay. Uh, then you got the two who can fire up onto the ridge. Four shots. Uh, fours normally. Fives concealed. Six are range. Seven for your failed blitz. Six. No, you're okay. Roll to two. Uh, your HQ. Um, can't, can't actually see anyone from where he is, so I'll stick a no. gone, gone the ground marker for him. Uh, okay. And then an interesting thing here you have some flamethrowers. So pretty much everyone, yeah. everyone can see and has range onto these guys here, and they do have a whopping four shots each. So you got 16 dice. We'll I'll record. I'll do a summary of what happens. So you got 16 dice hitting on fours. Okay, so Charlie got eight hits, two on each. This numpty here rolled two ones, then rolled a three for his remount, and bloody hell, luckily these guys were here and forced him to roll a four. So, um, well, flamethrowers do turn out to be quite deadly. Uh, well, in terms of bales, but they might have, they almost killed a Sherman there. And then we have two shots from the Stummels, um, hitting on fours, uh, obviously going for fireflies. So off you go. Two hits. Right then, so I'm going to try and swap them onto the 75. So first one, no. So they're both on Sherman fireflies. So it's 89, front armour is six, so I need threes to equal. Uh, one bounce, one pen. Okay. Let me see. What's their fire? Uh, three plus. No, I'm on a three. Needed that. What's another Needed that. Luckily, the three plus remount in the HQ is there, and I think that Charlie is your shooting. Unfortunately, yes. Well, I don't know. You're in a good position, and I needed my dice to be hot next turn. So, speaking of which, we're going to British. Whatever turn it is. Okay, so I have some motivations to make in my turn. So we have my Sherman 75, HQ is there to help him. Yep, and the Firefly. Yeah, well, double five, he loves it. But I have some things to think about now because Charlie is pushing for my objective. I don't like it. Um, so I need to get some things in positions, one to get rid of these guys and then maybe deal with the infantry that are in those bloody half tracks as well. So we will come back after British movement. Okay, British movement. I'm concerned with the Panthers moving down here so the Stuarts are going to do their gamble. Two of them are in assault range um, on these guys. Uh, the HQ won't be able to provide his Panzerfaust shot because it's only four inches. It, this is ifs and buts if anything guessing. They'll still have two shots and he only needs two hits to stop the assault anyway and force them back. Um, um, then we have a Sherman plume on the ridge not moving, Damon not moving. Uh, Shermans in the farm complex are moving around. So this guy has just moved around to here to get a flank shot on a panther. Uh, unit leaders contesting the objective but more importantly hidden. Two fireflies are moved to go for the panthers. I got two more fireflies, one who hasn't moved, going for the Panthers. Two more Shermans going for the um, Stummels here. I then have my two Shermans on the ridge. And then these guys haven't moved because I don't really want to uh, get flamed again. So pretty much at the most I've got to shoot this turn. Uh, I've had this game. I'm going to start with the artillery again because again they're in a good position uh, to do stuff and if I can pin um, those uh, um, brigade infantry straight up I'll be happy with that. So we will do that and we will go into the regular shooting. Okay so down this section with the artillery so far. Um, actually double check. I'm not danger close. 
ah, I am okay. Um, so basically, I managed all I managed. So I made it hit the infantry, got no kills, but I got the HQ. So the two IC is still around, but I'm happy with that. So now the Stuarts are going to MG your infantry. So that's five shots each. So a lot of shots coming. A lot, but they're not. 50 cals, they, they're nothing fancy, so... Yeah. So let's get... American Sherman, it's shot out by American Shermans all the time, so... All right, I'll roll the dice and I'll show you uh, how many hit. Oh. Okay, so here we have, so um, that's how many hits I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, almost triple pin now. So we have one guy with one save to make, um, Charlie. Okay, and then you have the first double save. Clean of six. Uh, then another double save. Uh, possible on that one. Okay. One. Uh, and then uh, another one with a double save. Five and a six. And then one more. Okay, so only one, but I need a six, so, yep, yeah, one, complete opposite. Uh, Daimlers are going to MG you as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so, they can get, like, the first four, so they only have three shots each, I believe. Uh, so, again, six dice, hitting on fives. Uh, one hit, so I'll put it over by here, the guy in the road. So again, three plus save. Anyway, on a five. More than happy with that. Uh, right, I think it's time now I start trying to do something about your panthers, so let's go over that section of the table. Yeah. Okay, so I got the tripod out because I want to hold Charlie at the same time so you can see everything. So, there is two fireflies down here and the Sherman uh, poking his head around the farm as well. Um, so the fireflies are going to be short range, uh, but I think I might actually fire this platoon first um, and the 75s at the stummel. So I'll do the stummels first. So that's three shots because one hasn't moved. So I'll be hitting on threes. I get two hits, which is one on each. So first one is dead, second one is dead. So that's them sorted. Nice. So, and then the fireflies. Now you do get concealment um, because of the fence. So it's three shots hitting on fours. Uh, one hit, so I'll assign it to the middle one. So, need a five to equal. What well, a six. Ooh, so here's the big numbers. Right, so now I'm going to go to the unit um, in the farm. So the two fireflies are going to, again, going to be hitting on fours. Uh, that is, please be a cock dice. It is. I get a hit, and then the guy coming round the side also gets a hit. So the front armour shot first, needing a five to equal. Roll a six. Ooh. And then your side armour is a five. So again, you will need, well, you, you need a five to equal. No, roll a four. And he is bailed. Okay, so now my Sherman HQs on the ridge are going to fire onto your Panthers on the side as well. But they are long range, so it's going to be hitting on fours. One hit. So I'm going to put on an active tank, so of course you can swap it. Yeah, I'll swap it, mate. On a three. Okay, so um, your front, your side will go to a six, um, so a four to equal. No. And he is dead. 
Mm, right. Next, everything into your flamethrower half tracks, which are up, oh, well. up, up yonder there. So that's going to be, I'll just roll it all together. So it's going to be eight shots hitting on threes. Um, oh, it, it only equates to a hit each. Well, uh, dead, dead, bail, dead. Okay. Right, so I'm then going to fire my Shermans on the ridge again at your Panthers because they I'll just measure out because I'm pretty, pretty sure they can see them so it will come back. Okay, so the Fireflies on the ridge are going for the Panthers. There's only one more contest in the objective but this is going to be long range so it's going to be hitting on fours. I got three hits there, and the seventy fives are going are going to go for your infantry again, needing fives. Uh, get two hits on the infantry. So do the infantry saves first. Okay. infantry saves. Okay. Uh, I just need to check now to see if. No, I'm not on your side. So it's um four fours you'll need. So. I want to put two hits on the guy on the objective, but you can swap that round. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, so two saves on the other guy, so it's front armor 11, now so you need fours to equal. Well, two sixes, right? Ooh, and then one save on the other guy. So he is okay because so two active tanks. So if you can kill my Sexton and my Sherman, you could sneak the game. But I do have an assault to do, so we'll go into that now. Okay. So before I move him in, uh, roll your two Panzerfaust shots. So two shots should be hitting me on uh, fives because you're pinned. <laughs> okay, so the Stuarts have moved in. They are my assault tanks. So two here. Um, I think now I'm dreading now. They actually might have a worse assault rate. And yes, they do. They're scouts, aren't they? So first guy hitting on fives. Doesn't matter. Other guy hitting on fives. Yeah, right. It does matter. But you get to counterattack Charlie with two dice. No, that's not enough. You'll have to break off, I'm afraid. Yeah, right, so we'll do that and see how everything pans out. Okay, right, so this is where it ends. These guys are backed off and the Stuarts are contesting an objective, but I got four Stuarts, but then there's one Panther contesting an objective over here, and unfortunately I could not get them with my shots. So we'll come into German turn, and they need to kill a Sexton and a Sherman, and Charlie will get a well-earned win, if if he can get it, because these guys, um, at least one of them, are going to have to make it over this uh, fence. Okay, starting off the German turn with motivations, you have to uh, remount a flamethrower half-track on a 5+. plus. No. Um, then you have your pinned infantry. So you have your pinned uh, grenadiers, so needing fives. No. And your HQ also needing fives. Oh, I want two dice for that No, he didn't, mate. <laughs> okay, so at least they can uh, try and dig in this turn. And, yes, they will. Yeah, and then you have two last stands, one on the flamethrower and one on the whirlwind. But the flamethrower only has one attempt uh, on a four plus. No, he's gone. And the whirlwind, two dice, uh, needing fours. No, he's gone. Ooh. Well, turn three. Okay, then start your movement. Let's try and dig these infantry yes, in. Sir. So, uh, the infantry platoon on a four plus. Oh, yeah, dig in. Yep, yeah, one on a six, right. Okay, and the HQ. Oh. No, he didn't dig in. Okay, so that's 
good for me, but they'll probably all stay gone to ground. Okay, but we'll come back and see what the Germans have up their sleeves for movement. Okay, German movement. Of course, we've seen all the digging in over there. Over here, all that happened was the infantry tried to get out with a blitz move. Unfortunately, the blitz move failed, because otherwise they would have really been able to occupy this building here. But instead, they've ended up here, and the half-tracks have moved to the rear. Nothing else has moved, because basically, it turns out these, both of these panthers can see both of these targets. It's all a matter of hitting. Um, so, basically... One panther can see the sexton clearly, and one panther can see the Sherman clearly. So it's going to be a matter of fours and then firepowers, because I'm not going to be able to stop this. And if all goes to bat, uh, goes to worse, we have a repeat bombardment here. Two panthers who can see this Sherman, doesn't matter, but it could kill him. Um, and that is it. So it, it's all on this, basically. So we will find out what happens. Okay then, Charlie, do you want to have your two shots into the sexton first, hitting on fours? Yes, sir. What do I need? Fours? Fours you need, yep. One hit. Okay. And then two shots into the Sherman, needing fours? One hit. Right. Oh, that, it doesn't matter, that would be game. Because I can't hold the objective while I'm bailed. So you, you can roll to kill them, um, just to, just to hit it a bit more. So to Saxton, will be on a three plus. Yeah, he's dead. And yeah, the Sherman. The Sherman is dead. Well, there we go. I I only lost one Sherman. Yep, that is game. That that's game. That I I didn't I I I, I well personally I thought. The amount of stuff I had to fire on your Panthers that last turn should have been enough, but your sixes, you found them. Well, I found the size, mate. It you makes found... a change. Okay. Um, I think it would be... I, I, I was speaking to someone. I think it would be better that we pick the opponent's MVP. Because, obviously... Yeah. yeah okay. I, I'm definitely going for those Panthers there. Um, but when they won you the game... Um, and they killed two Saxons and a Sherman, which is more than the rest of your army did. Um, and yeah. well and truly man of the match there. They, they kind of de definitely sneaked it in where if there was another turn, they wouldn't be there, uh, I don't think. But no, uh, nah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yourself, who are you going to put as my MVP? Yeah, they... Some of the half-tracks, I think. Yeah, and, you know, they, they basically and kept, you know, two panthers in the wood occupied. It didn't, so I think those guys on the ridge, or you could do the ones that came around the flank, and, but I think the ones on the ridge will be my, my, my ones. Yeah, I, my biggest mistake uh, I made, obviously not pushing for the objective earlier, once I cleared it, um, I, 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 I think the Shermans are the ones that smashed your flamethrowers. I think, well, I, I personally I didn't think I would not kill your Panthers, because um, I had plenty of shots, but I just couldn't do it, couldn't do it. But, um, no, well played, um, obviously there's, I've killed a lot. But still not enough. I mean, but not enough. That's an aggressive list, and they all hit on threes. So it, they, they're there to be wiped out, but if, if you can survive around the shooting like I did, you can grab the objectives. So it's, it's not a bad list. We just got unlucky with the, the 70s getting... Well, I put the 70s, maybe I shouldn't have put them there. Knowing that's taking them on the ridge, I should have put them as... Well, that's the thing is, the Panzer Four Seventies. If you pull the sixes out for them, they wouldn't be dead. Yeah, but unfortunately, I didn't. But no, that was another good game. And Charlie, you've got your first win on the channel. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to win a game for Charlie. So you usually come in second. So <laughs> I'm very 
didn't have to win this so uh, it was a great game. It, it could have gone, you know, that it swung on the the, the, the armor saves. It did, which is uh, very strange for you for the last game we had because my AT guns are one better this game. But uh, no, yeah. but I think you did well to you concealed the Panthers as much as you could for as long as you could. Um, yeah. So I only had a few turns to shoot to them as I did, and then you had the smoke barrage that did work. I think. The first smoke barrage, I think it was better for you that it didn't because I don't think it would have really helped. Well, what I was going to do, yeah, had that worked, I was going to move everything up, um, like the infantry and stuff, and then, uh, you know, the, with the flamethrower half tracks, and then I was going to try flamethrowing some of your tanks, bailing them out and stopping them with the infantry. Mm. Uh, you know, it worked better the way it did, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I, th I do I do like my list. I do think some infantry would be useful. Whether I would have had an infantry platoon there, I don't know. They might yeah. have been on the other objective. But what I would have had to drop, I don't know, because the, the points with the Shermans are slightly awkward. But I, I quite like it. Um, it's, uh, I do prefer the... Uh, I do prefer yeah. the other British lists um, to the Shermans because we've already seen the Shermans, what they can do. Um, looking at the upgrades for them, guards, one point per tank, giving them all last stand, useful. I'm not sure about the Canadian upgrade because if you've got two Fireflies uh, out of four, that means half of your tanks already have a three plus remount. So that means you're paying a point yeah. for only two or well, you could have three Sherman 75s, but... I don't think that point is as much worth it as it used to be, but yeah, that is where it is. So I'll close the video now. Thanks again for watching, but I'll keep chatting to Charlie. Um, but yeah, there's another good game, and that is the last of the British armoured uh, formations from the books. So now we can go on to the infantry formations and a special one which I've made as well. So that is it, because I'm not doing the ram tanks, because I'd have to buy a lot of boxes and I'll never use them because they're not that good. <laughs> Uh, 80 11 is fun, but a 4 plus 5 power. When I can't do 3 plus 5 powers, although I can't really say I can't do 3 plus 5 powers because there's a few smokes here. Um, but there we go. So um, look out for the infantry lists, which I'm really looking forward to. So we'll close that. And again, if you haven't so already, um, subscribe to the channel. And if you already have, just drop a like and have a comment as well, see if uh, we've done anything wrong, which I usually do at some point. Um, but it just uh, I, I do it cheaply, just so you comment on my videos. So there we go. So until uh, until next game, um, stay safe.